Today, we are taking a look at an Instax camera that is the smallest Instax camera we have ever been sent. So this is the Instax Pell digital camera. And the reason why it is so small is that it can only take pictures. It can't print. So for example, you will need something like this, the Instax Mini Link 2 and some photo paper. And then you can print your images from this camera on this printer, but more on this later. So let's take a look at the box of the Instax Pal digital camera. So over here you can see the color is black and it comes in five different colors. And over here you can see that it connects to the printer via Bluetooth, obviously. It tells you what the package contains. We'll see more about that now. And you can take photos anytime, anywhere with the pocket size Instax Pal camera. You can also animate your world, which we have seen before, and you can record pre-shutter sounds. So we'll take a look at that once we unbox this camera. So let's get to it. Very excited. Let's see what's in the box. So first up, we have the Instax Pearl camera. So as you can see, Instax branding, there's a speaker, there's the flash, there's the lens, and at the back we have the shutter button, and that is a USB Type-C port for charging. And then there are two modes, L and F, and you can adjust the modes via this button over here and what else have we got yeah you can attach a tripod at the bottom over here and then over here you can insert a SD card should you need to I think it's a micro SD card but the camera can hold up to 50 images and at the top over here this is the power button okay let's see what else we have in the box Okay, so this is the multi-use detachable ring, which makes the Instax power camera easy to use. So you can firstly attach this to the top of the Instax power camera as a viewfinder like this. There we go, very cool. Or you can simply place it on the surface and you can set the camera on it as a little tripod. You know to adjust the angle of your shot you can do it like that do it like that you know whatever you want to do so that's very cool okay let's see what else is in the box right over here we have the user guide and also some more information okay something hiding over here let's see what we have this looks like a USB type-c cable which you can plug in over here for charging right so let's get this camera charged and then uh, get it set up with the app and see how it takes pictures and gets them printed. So now we need to download the Instax Pal app, which is available on the App Store and on the Android Store, Google Play. So let's grab my phone. Okay, and we're simply gonna scan the QR code. Here we go. Okay, Instax Pal app. Tap install. Okay, the app is now installed. 
So let's open it up. That's a really nice animation. Okay, allow, allow, allow. Okay, okay. Agree, agree. Okay, hello. Instax Power is ready to go. Let's take some photos. Get started. It's time for Instax Power to wake up. Press and hold the power button for two seconds to get started. So he has the power button on top, so we're going to hold it for two seconds. One, two. Oh, there it's on. The light is lit up. Very nice. Next. Okay, it's connecting to the camera. Okay, it found it, so we can tap connect. It's connecting. Pair. Okay, find camera. Okay, we are already connected. Okay, now we can give the Instax power name. So what should we call it? Hmm. Let's call it Pelly. Should we call it Pelly? Just to be fun. You can always change it later. Okay, basic usage. Feel free to take snapshots anytime with power. When you connect power with the app, the photos you take are automatically transferred to the app. So that's very cool. And as I said earlier, power can hold up to 50 images at a time. If the power is full, it will take more time to transfer. So we recommend to connect to the app frequently to transfer your Instax digital images. Or you can just insert a micro SD card. If you transfer photos from your PAL to the app, the photos in PAL will disappear. You can choose whether to delete the photos from the PAL. You can shoot remotely from the app. You can also shoot continuously at three second intervals. You can combine multiple shots to create a flip book like animation. PAL can speak your favorite words or phrases just before the image is taken, add into the fun of taking photos. You can select the size of the photo to be taken from mini square and wides. You can check the photos you took from the gallery. Photos can be shared on social media or printed with the Instax Link Series Hybrid Instant Camera. Let's play. So what we're going to do for starters is we're going to grab the Instax Pal and we're going to take a picture. There we go. Look at that. And let's see. It should sync through to the Instax Pal app. Check here. Connect to the Instax Link Series printer or an Instax Hybrid Instant Camera to print the photos. Okay, we're not going to do that now. Check that out. There I am. But obviously, this is such a bad picture, so I'm not going to print it. So if you want, you can just delete. I just wanted to show you again the two modes at the bottom of the camera. There is the L mode, which is the link mode. And then there's the F mode, which is the fan mode. So when you are connected to the app, like we are doing now, you need to be on the F mode. And when you want to link straight to a printer, such as the Instax Mini Link 2, you need to be on the L mode. So you can print straight from the Instax PAL to an Instax printer without using your phone when you're on L mode. F mode is when you are connected to your smartphone. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the remote shooting mode. So in the Instax Pow app on your phone, you just tap remote shooting. Now you can see whatever the Instax Pow is seen. So I just want to go through some of the modes for now. So there's remote shooting, then there's interval shooting. So you can take 3, 6, 11 or 21 photos at a certain interval. You can also adjust over here the size of the shooting format from mini to square to wide. So that would probably depend on the kind of paper that you're using as well, I assume. And then you can do different effects over here. Okay. And then you can turn the flash on and off. You can set a timer. And yeah is where you can record your pre-shutter sounds so you can check out what you have already let's turn up the volume
and you can save one of these and it will sync through to the Instax Pal. But you can also record your own by tapping over here. Create pre-shutter sounds. Allow it to use your microphone. Up to five pre-shutter sounds can be recorded. If the shutter sounds are saved to the Instax Pal, they will be played at random each time the shutter button is pressed. So let's record my own one. Let's try that again. Oops. Complete. And there we go. So let's test that out. I'm just syncing it to the Instax Pal. Check this out. Did you hear that? <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, let's do one more. I took a picture. I took a picture. Let's see how this one sounds. It's a really cool light on top. I took a picture. Very cool. Okay, so let's go back here. Okay, we're going to just set this to none. And change this back to mini. Okay, so now this is how the remote shutter works. So basically, you set your camera up like this. Okay. And okay, let's hold it up like this over here so we can see it. And then when you're ready, you just go. I took a picture. Cool. Okay, that is a really, really bad picture. Let's try that again. <laughs> this is actually the funniest Instax camera I've ever received. What have I done? Clearly I need to practice. I took a picture. Okay, clearly I'm moving the camera too much. I think what I meant to do is actually put the camera, the Instax Pal down and then try again. Okay, last time. I took a picture. Okay, that is much better. So that was my problem. Don't move the camera when you're taking pictures. Okay, so that's the remote shutter feature. And we can check out the interval. It's going to take three pictures. Three, two, one. <laughs> Finish shooting. Finish. I just wanted to show you quickly how it looks with the detachable ring on when you're doing remote shooting. So you can see what the camera is seeing and what it's showing on the app and how it's working out with a little viewfinder I think it's a nice little feature to have if you want you don't have to use it you can use it yeah so let's see the pictures that I just took yeah they are very nice okay create instax animation let's check this out uh, you can select a few pictures and then you can create an animation using the pictures that you've taken Obviously, I would take much better pictures than these. These are just some demo pictures. And let's see what else we can do. So there's your gallery, which we've looked at. Remote shooting. We have looked at that mode already with the different things you can do. Uh, what's this? Have I got a prize? 
Oh, a sense in animation. You will automatically get an animation combining your photos after interval shooting or if you shoot 10 or more photos in a single day. Let's play. That's very cool. Thanks for the gift. So from here, you can share this to social media or you can even print it with the QR code to watch the animation. Okay, what's this? Okay, this is your shooting format that you can set over here as well. And that's the recording. And this is the pre-shutter recording. You can also access it over there. And over here on top, you can see the battery level and the name. Let's get a bit closer. There's the battery level at the top over here. And there's the name, Pally. And what's this mode? To show you that you're connected to your camera. Right, so now that we've taken a look at the Instax Pal and the Instax Pal app, we need to actually go out and take some pictures in the wild with the Instax Pal. Shana, check this out. This is the Instax Pal that I was just sent. Can we take a picture of you? Did you like the sound? Let's check how that came out. Right, let's see how that came out. Hey, look at that, Shana. That's a really nice picture, don't you think? That was actually a really good picture that the Instax Pal took. So let's go and take some more. Shana, sit, sit nicely. Shana, Shana. So once you have taken some pictures with the Instax Pal, you need to turn it on, let it connect to your phone via the Instax Pal app, and at the top of here it will be looking for pictures, and then it will display how many pictures it needs to transfer. There you can see 41 photos to transfer, 1 minute and 57 seconds remaining. So you just need to simply wait for the pictures to transfer from the Instax Pal to the app. And as you can see over here, the pictures are transferring, so let's just wait. Okay, the photos are transferred and now we can see all the pictures that we have taken. Obviously, I've taken some nonsense ones. There's some nice ones. So what I'm going to do is go through, delete the bad ones, keep the good ones, and then I can remove the photos that are on the Instax Pal so that I can take more. Okay, so we are finally ready to print some photos. So we have the Instax Mini Link 2 printer, which we have reviewed before. So we are going to be using this awesome smartphone printer to print some Instax photos taken on the Instax Pal. So let's get to it. So 
So we're going to choose a photo to print. Let's do one of my dog, Shana, the miniature schnauzer. So we are going to just check what the features are. So if you tap over here, you can save the picture to your phone. Over here, you can change the background color. Obviously not on the print. We're going to leave it um, white. doesn't really matter. And what's this? We can adjust some of the effects. Go over here. We can add some text to the picture. We can edit it. We can change the form size. We can apply some effects. Very cool. I'm just going to keep it um, none and also brightness, contrast, and saturation. We're not going to fiddle with that. And we are using the Instax Mini size instant form. So we'll be selecting Mini. Okay, so we've got our Instax Mini Link 2 set up. We've got the form installed and now we are ready to print. So we are going to tap the print button in the top right corner and then over here we can select the type of Instax device we're going to be printing to. So we are using the Instax Mini Link 2. So we are going to tap Instax Mini Link and it will open the Mini Link app which we've already got installed and yeah you can see how many prints you've got available and also the battery life. So what we're going to do is we are going to simply tap on print and there we go. We are now printing a photo taken on the Instax PAL via the Instax Mini Link 2. Remember, do not shake the print. It is not necessary. Also, don't put it in your mouth. There we go the form is nearly finished developing but as you can see there's the photo that was taken on the instax pal and here it is in person printed out so this is very cool let's print some more pictures okay what should we print next oh he has a cool photo that i took at the waterfront with my electric scooter so yeah let's Print this one. Choose the mini link again and hit print. And there we go. There's another nice photo printed from the Instax PAL on the Instax Mini Link 2. So next we should print a photo but add some text first. Okay, how about we try this photo and let's add some text. So we're going to tap text and sticker. Um, okay, we're going to add an emoji actually. Oh, it looks like you can only add one emoji you can't so we can cancel it and add something else let's add the same one okay 
There we go. And that's our print. And it's done. Printing. That's a really nice picture. Okay, let's do one more. And this time we're going to do <laughs> this one. And let's print. You can also do the filters over here if you want. Ooh, that's actually quite nice. Actually not much of a filter person. And then print. Oh, look at that. That's another great print. So yeah, this was the Instax PAL digital camera. Really easy to carry around, really easy to shoot with and to use. I like the app, I like the filters, the different features that it's got. And yeah, you've got to pair it obviously with a printer such as the Instax Mini Link 2 or the other Instax printers in the range. But overall, this is a really fun little camera to carry around. You can take it anywhere, super portable. So yeah. If you are interested in checking out the Instax Mini Link 2, I've also done an unboxing and a review on this awesome smartphone printer, and I will definitely link that below as well. Thanks for watching.